Hey, what is going on guys? This is SMEB Reviews and today we are taking a look at the newest album from Robin titled Honey. Let's get to it. But before we get started with this review, I actually do want to point out that I do have a Twitter. My link is in the description. Go check it out. I review a lot of albums and just talk about stuff on there that I might not have time to discuss or make a video on in on my YouTube channel. So go check it out. It's in the description. All right, to the review. Man, I really do love Robin. She is such a talented artist. And I really would go out on a limb and say that I think she is a pop genius. She knows how to perfectly craft a pop song. And her alone, a rather small artist, at least in the U.S., I know she's much bigger in the U.K., but over in the U.S., she's not that big, but yet she has made such a lasting impact. She's really a huge reason why we had that, have still have this huge 80s new wave boom again coming in, that 80s revival sound. She really did help start that, and I really do like her music. I, while sometimes just because you're influential doesn't mean you're actually good, no, Robin definitely still has talent. She's an excellent songwriter, and she knows how to craft excellent songs. And so I was super stoked about Honey. And so what did we get on Honey? Well, it's inconsistent. I, I will come out and say that to start. Because that's the first thing that you get when you listen to this album. It's rather inconsistent. And she's definitely leaning a lot heavier on that electronica side than her pop side. Not to say every song is, but we have a lot more dance songs that have less substance than uh, traditional pop songs. And I know that, like I said, she always kind of dabbles in between the two genres. But these are more focused on that house and club sound rather than just making a pop song. But a lot of songs are focused a lot on just having a, a beat and some synth lines with minimal lyrics. Specifically, Beach 2K20, which I will upfront say is the worst song on this album in my opinion, it really has no substance but it shows what I'm talking about excellently. It's a song that completely, it has a samba groove to it, and it has a rather bland and uninteresting synth line that just repeats for about five minutes. That's not, that's not the point of my statement, it's just simply the truth. But the whole lyrics don't really have any substance to it either. It, it really shows Robin pretty much just saying, let's go party, and yes, it is a little hollow, which is kind of the point, but it's something that's been done before, it, of the feeling of emptiness while in a club scene. Songs like I Took a Pill in Ibiza or Robin's Own Dancing on My Own. Both songs show emptiness while in a dance setting. And I think both of those songs are genius, and I do love both of them. But that being said, this song just doesn't do it as well. It simply is just a worse version of those songs, and really just is uninteresting. Now... I do want to say that this does not mean I dislike Robin at all. I love Robin, and this is the worst track on this album. There are still tons of good stuff. But before I get to the good, let me get all the bad out of the way. We do have two more songs that kind of fall prey to this. Between the Lines and Baby Forgive Me are the two other examples of just really uninteresting music backed with really not very many lyrics. And again, yes, they're not terrible, but they, they're not as bad as Beach 2K20, but they still are flawed and do still fall into that same curse. And yes, they're just as cheesy as their titles say. Now, we're done with the bad, let's get on to the good. Missing You, the lead single from this album, I mean, Honey kind of came out earlier, but Missing You was the lead single from this album, and it is incredible. It, it does show... Uh, a very upbeat and really fun synth line that goes throughout the song that really just explodes in the chorus. We get a perfect buildup of low, of a little nice soundscape in, in the verses. And then once we hit that chorus, it just is an absolute catharsis of a sound that really is a powerful sound wall. And, and it hits you very hard. Not to mention the, the strength and intensity of Robin's lyrics here. Robin sings about the loss of someone she cares about and that hole that was left there. And she ends the song with all the love you gave me still defines me. And that is an incredibly moving and really poignant line in this album. It's one, it's the highlight. Missing You is the highlight despite it also being the lead single. It's an incredible song and I really do love it. 
Now, I did mention that a lot of these more electronica-type songs are a little weaker, but that does not mean that everyone is. Sin to Robin Immediately, I would say, is another one of the best songs on this album. It's a really interesting, catchy line, and it just has a, a little more chilled-out uh, uh, attitude about it, and I really do like that. I honestly think that it is the better of the electronica songs in this album, which are fairly heavy. I would say the two that probably are the farthest away from the electronica sound are the uh, are Missing You and Honey, which, uh, not to say that they don't have electronic elements, obviously it does, it's just not as much on that house and, and club type music. It's more focused on her poppy side. Honey's also an excellent song, and honestly, every song that I didn't mention is also pretty good. But Robin is better at her poppier side, or at least her blend of the two. She excellently b blends the two genres, but this focus more on the electronica side just doesn't quite work for her. That being said, I absolutely love this album still. It still has a lot of high moments, and even its lowest moments still do have their place. They're just a little weaker and show some inconsistencies in this album. It That's its ultimate problem, is it's just inconsistencies. Pretty high, or very high highs and fairly low lows. So, ultimately, I do still like the album. It's just not perfect. It does have some flaws. So, I am going to give it a 7 out of 10. But hey, what did you guys think of this album? Please let me know down below. Also, is there anything I can do to improve the quality of my videos or any upcoming albums that you'd like me to check out? Uh, like I said, I do have my Twitter down in the description. And besides that, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. I know this review is a little late. I'm about a week late on it. But hey, better late than never. I really wanted to talk about Robin. I just really wanted to digest this album. So, yeah, let me know what you think down below. Besides that, thank you guys so incredibly much, and I'll see you guys later.